Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, Solana, I showed you yesterday that we are actually still in this sort of descending channel here. You can probably even draw that as a descending wedge. That would be a rather bullish pattern. Um, and I told you as well that unless we break above the 105 US dollar level, that is an important one, that was resistance here, 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 here. So that unless we break above that level, probably you are still caught in this, yeah, first of all, in the descending um, channel. So meaning that the downtrend is still at play and also that you are actually still yeah, in, in a downtrend and that you have not managed to get back into an uptrend. Because if we get back, uh, if we get into the short term view here, it looked it looked a little bit like that we broke out of that channel here. That was yeah mid midday yesterday. But we did, even though we broke above the channel and even retested that here on that four hour candle. But I made you aware that this is the level we need to get above the 105 US dollar, but actually 105.50. It's always a bit of a range. Surprises so are dynamic. But yeah, it didn't do it. And then that huge candle here, here another engulfing red candle. And an engulfing red candle is actually one of the most reliable candlestick patterns. Yeah, it is one of the statistically most reliable patterns um, that show, uh, first of all, either a trend continuation or a trend reversal. We had that here as well. Yeah, engulfing, engulfing. I showed you that before. Whenever we started here, that sell off after a bit of a consolidation, we had an engulfing red candle here, here engulfing red candle here as well. And all of that indicated that we started uh, that we continue our downtrend. And here we have another engulfing red candle. So the previous price action is completely engulfed. Yeah, the red candle is so big that it engulfs the previous periods price action. And yeah, we um, we lost support here. We lost key support. We lost the 100 US dollar level. And that is a big thing. Um, that is why even though Bitcoin didn't drop too much, we altcoins have been hammered down now in the last um, few hours here because we lost key support for Solana as well. The $100 level was a very, very important support level. It was the 61, no, sorry, it was the, oh yeah, it was the 61.8% um, Fibonacci retracement level, very similar to where Cardano is actually as well, just below the 61.8. Um, both obviously lost support. Cardano was below the level for a few days already, just hovering below it. Cardano now, uh, Solana now dropped below it. And we're currently finding support here at some previous swing highs. So that was the level that I gave you anyway, 95 cents. We talked about this as a next line of support. Because if I count here the Elliott wave count for a potential breakout, yeah, this is how you would have to count it. One, two, three, that this here would be the wave four. Then you get another wave five up. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't count this as the wave one, well, the reason is you have to count this here as an A, B, overshooting wave B, and then C down. And in this potential scenario where you would actually assume a breakout will happen, the wave four could come as low as the price range of wave one. Now that was 95 US dollars that has just been cut. Yeah, we're oh, just about there. So technically you could still argue this might still be that breakout here. But as I said before, the wave four has come down to low and with a break below $100, I think the uptrend is anyway over. I told you already in the last videos that as long as you are still in the downtrend, which, which we are, you have to assume the downtrend continues. The first positive sign would have been a break above $105. Doesn't happen. And my warning that the downtrend isn't over here proved to be right because we have come down so impulsively. I've repeated that in the last videos. And now we've even come down into the target range again. This is the area that we defined already back in November um, where we said that the price in this correction with the highest probability is going to land in this range and that it would turn around here. Now we had several attempts of the price to turn around here where the price reached $122. Then here where the price reached 144 roughly. Yeah, But we've come always back into the target area. And I think we have a good chance now, depending on what Bitcoin does, of course, that we could see that low again, 75, $76. 
and if we lose it, well, that's it then. I think then we get to the fifty-five cent level, a uh, fifty-five dollar level. Did I say cent? Fifty-five dollar level. That is the seventy-eight point six percent Fib level. That is the most relevant Fibonacci level, ideally for a wave two. Yes, the sixty-one point eight is very relevant generally, but the seventy-eight point six is where we see currently a lot of cryptocurrency go to get to in their wave two because in the end if i zoom out what solana is doing here is a wave two it came up in a first impulsive wave it's now correcting that first impulsive wave in a second wave in a wave two which is corrective from here then at some point anywhere in this target area and of course the elliott waves and fibonacci levels only give us a guide they can give us a zone but from anywhere in here we would expect the price to reverse now we need to use different signals for that. Then we could use, for example, a break out of it. We could use um, engulfing pad candles and whatever for that. But that are, is then where we need to zoom in and look at how likely it is that we're already turning around. At the moment, obviously, we're in a downtrend, so we can't see that turnaround. But in the next major wave up, what we would expect is where I often say at least $400, $450, maybe even more, is that in the 1.618 FIP extension, that would be the next major wave up. And we are talking about you know, uh, not not tomorrow or next week, we're talking about a wave degree like this. Yeah, if this here was the wave one, if this here is the wave two, then the next wave three obviously can also take months to play out. And this would be the minimum target for the wave three would be 400 and or well, $500, the 1.618 Fibonacci extension, yeah, calculated by using the low here, pretty much from zero, going all the way up to the top of the wave one, going down to the low, assuming this here would be currently the low at $75, but I still see the potential that we break the $75 level and that we might even reach that $55 level that we've been talking about actually um, since January, I think. So not that we have to reach it because, <coughs> as I said before, anywhere in this target area, the price can turn around. Yeah, And anybody who doesn't, who's waiting, who's chasing the lowest point might get burned. Yeah just told you that I think anywhere in here that could happen and unless you want to watch the chart every day yeah and wait for those signals I think what we have to do that is at least what I do yeah no financial advice that is what I do I dollar cost average in with with my buy orders with limit orders where I set these limit orders at certain buying levels to make sure I catch the lows should the price turn around here and um, yeah if you're interested in seeing those then check out my channel membership as silver and gold member you can see those and yeah we still see here a decline in volume by the way assuming that we haven't really seen that major breakout that we want to see yet so there will be a breakout here we still have a decline in volume here on the daily chart even though we had a decision here yesterday that we're going to go down further but yeah we still see as you can see here since the first of april we have seen a decline in volume and that will be interesting as soon as we get a get a move here, a breakout that should see a spike in um, in volume. We've seen that before here in the bigger picture. We've had here, for example, here a spike in uh, a decrease in volume, then a bit of a spike um, that led us to some sort of a short term price increase here as well. Here it was the other way. We had a decline in volume, then we had a, a, a larger sell off. So which way this goes, I can't tell you, but I can tell you that we have a decline in volume. Typically what happens here and then you get a spike. So it could be another um, spike in selling volume where you get down and maybe in a big move, get down to 75 US dollars. Now that's my view on Solana. Um, this of course will get invalidated as soon as you break above $105. As I said, that would invalidate the immediate downtrend or at least make it much more likely that reverse first, that we reverse first to $122 and then maybe to um, 144. So that's my view about Solana. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership and also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter and you can find the links in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.